everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Wednesday which means another TDM vlogs and today I thought I'd do a nice simple vlog which is going to be my top 5 games. Now while I was compiling this list I was like I, I, had, I just love so many games, how am I going to put them into a top 5 and I've probably forgotten about some so this is my top 5 list at the moment <laughs> because when I complete a game or a new game comes out and I really like it, I'm just like wow number one that's the best game ever but then I forget about the older games so I've got a mixture of older games and newer games in this top five list and then you need to comment down below with your favorite game so let's get straight into it so I'm gonna do some honorable mention first which um, kind of is I guess a number six of my top five and that is the Simpsons hit and run on the PlayStation 2 so this was a time when I think this is the first game that I ever bought on my PlayStation 2. It was that long ago. It was amazing. Um, it was like an open world Simpsons game, um, kind of based loosely off of GTA, where you got to hijack cars, did loads of missions, loads of races. It was really fun. I've completed it many times back when I first got it, and um, many times after that as well. It's a really fun game. Usually Simpsons games aren't really the best, because we know games based on movies usually aren't that good, but um, it, it's a fantastic game. You should definitely check it out. I'm sure you can pick it up really cheap now and definitely go and have a look at it. Right then, on to the top five then, and at number five I've got a PS1 game, which I played for so long, I completed so many times, and I played it recently on the PSP as well, because there's a PSP version, um, PSP is kind of old now as well, but it's Crash Team Racing. Um, Crash Bandicoot is a really awesome game, with a little orange bandicoot, he's really cool, but um, the spin-off from that was a racing game, usually there's some spin-offs somewhere, but uh, um, Crash Bandicoot got Crash Team Racing, and it was actually a really, really fun game, no customization on carts or anything which I kind of liked because I didn't have to kind of try and find the OP vehicle that was the best in the game. You just choose your favourite character, go ahead and race. And I can't really remember who my favourite character was actually in that one. But I remember you had like Neo Cortex, you had everyone, you had this really crazy um, engine guy, he was really awesome and then we had uh, loads of challenging races, loads of challenging um, things you needed to find around the course and win as well so definitely check that one out as well. You've got to be able to get that really cheap now. And I think you might even be able to get it but down Load on the PlayStation Network. I'm not sure, but definitely one to check out, and that is my number five. Well, then, number four is a huge game of my childhood. I'm not even joking. I really wanted to put this at number one, but recently um, there's been some amazing games that have come out. So this is probably the last old game that I'm going to be going over, and that is Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. I put them both in here, number one and number two, both on the Dreamcast. Now, the Dreamcast wasn't really um, a success because it kept, it just died out really for Sega's um, last console, but I thought it was one of the best consoles ever. It was really awesome, really ahead of its time you could play online through ethernet you could you have these amazing 3d graphics on this awesome system but they broke a lot i had like three dreamcasts over the time and this was or these two games were the best games on dreamcast ever and some of the best games i've ever played sonic adventure it was 3d it was awesome they trump any new 3d sonic game i'm not even joking the storyline was awesome in sonic adventure 2 and i'm pretty sure you can now get them on xbox 360 i think i replayed sonic adventure 1 recently and you can get these games on Xbox 360 Marketplace. Definitely go and get them. They're not too expensive at all and you'll have tons of fun. You can play as all the characters. The coolest part about Sonic Adventure 2 was you can play as the dark side and the, the um, hero side as well. So you can play as Sonic, you can play as Tails and Knuckles. But you could also play as Shadow, Rouge or Rogue or whatever her name is, and Eggman. It was so cool. Lots of shooting and stuff as well. Such a good game. I couldn't recommend it enough. Right then, moving on to number three, and we have um, two fairly recent games based on an older game, and that is Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends. Now, I bought this game randomly on the Wii, Origins that is, and then bought Legends on the 360, and the game is so good. The artwork is ridiculous. It's probably the favorite, my favorite looking game ever. It's got a really cool 2D style. The gameplay flows really well. It's kind of like... It's, it's, I don't know, it's really addictive. It's kind of got that temple run kind of addiction to it and like Flappy Bird and stuff where you just want to get further and further and quicker through the all the time trials, all the extra missions, all the level designs is ridiculous. All through the game I was thinking, how can they make this even better? And then this piece of level design comes out, like this perfectly timed monster that comes out and you have to time your jump to get onto the platform and stuff like that. The game is so good. I definitely recommend you check it out. Rayman Origins is probably quite cheap now and Rayman Legends 
Legends um, didn't come out too long ago, but those are two games. I haven't completed many games recently. I just kind of play them every now and then. But those are two games I had to complete from start to finish. I'm still working on Legends because they've got this really cool thing where you can play online and do challenges and stuff. That's some of the best things about that game now. So it's never ending. It's awesome. Go check it out. Right then, on to my number two, which is... Unfortunately, I guess, because I know a lot of you are of the younger, younger age group, and I don't really want to suggest um, 18 plus games, but these games are absolutely fantastic. It is the Grand Theft Auto series. I spent so long playing these games before, and most recently, um, I have played GTA 5 all the way through. I wasn't overly impressed by it. GTA Online was awesome um, when you got to go on it. I haven't tried it since it's been all fixed and stuff, but it was awesome. The storyline was pretty good. I did like all the gameplay changes, like the graphics were ridiculous on an Xbox 360. You could easily get away with that being on an Xbox One and just plow it out. It's amazing. But um, the, my favourite ones were San Andreas. I played that for so long. I completed it again the other day because you can get a PC version and that is really fun. The storylines in both GTA San Andreas and GTA 4 are outstanding. GTA 4's story completely outdoes GTA 5 in my opinion. So if you're old enough, go and check it out. If not, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for suggesting that game. <laughs> so now we get on to number one, and this is going to be really anticlimactic and really boring. It's Minecraft. Minecraft is a game, or well, it's the game that I have spent the longest time on hands down. Take all of the previous games that I've mentioned, multiply by 10, and you still won't have the gameplay hours that I put into Minecraft. And I've never got bored of Minecraft. How can you make a game? that you've played for so long and still not get bored of it. It's so crazy, I can't believe it. It's just such a good game, all of the community is just amazing, and just the way that you can just take anything and put it into your favourite game is really cool. The servers, you can play with friends so easily, and fans as well, when you're in my position, and it's just a game that's never-ending and never-ending fun as well, so Minecraft had to be my number one. If it wasn't, this wouldn't really make sense. And I just thought of another honourable mention as well, the Pokemon games. I mean, how can I forget those? My favourite one was probably Pokemon Crystal, was a really good one on Game Boy Color. I couldn't fit it into this top five because it's too small. Five is too small. Why did I do five? I should have done ten. But um, those are my top five so far. I'll probably do another one of these, maybe on certain systems. I think that could be quite cool. But most importantly, what are your favourite games? If you had to pick top five games, what would they be? And um, put them in the comment section below. I'll be really interested to read them. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And before we go, um, we're getting on for like eight or nine minutes now. I am going to select a TDM art. So for those of you that don't know or are new to the channel, you can send me any digital art through um, Twitter. It's probably the best way. But you can also use Facebook, Instagram, and anything else you can think of. Uh, Tumblr. I don't really know. But if you use um, the hashtag TDM art, which is going to be on your screen right here, you can send me art and I will like it. And um, I view every piece on Twitter at least. So that's the best place to sh so that's the best place to show it and Twitter user Anastasia50024 sent me in this awesome artwork it's kind of modeled over the Pokemon games where I'm a gym leader and then someone is challenging me but it's also a fan of me and it's really cool the best part about it is the is the images in the background we've got Dr. Treyarch and Grimm on kind of like the Hall of Fame of Pokemon so anyone who's familiar with these Pokemon games you will definitely recognize the layout of the picture. It's really awesome, and thank you so much, Anastasia, for sending that in. So that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you want me to do any more top fives, also leave them in the comment section below, along with your top five games so far. As I said, this is completely. Um, this could completely change another week when a new game comes out, or I play like an older game and I get all nostalgic, and I'm like, this was an amazing game. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do hit that subscribe button for weekly vlogs and also daily Minecraft videos as well. And um, if you did enjoy this video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!